man, I used to have sore throats every single year growing up and uh, haven't had one in probably 15, 20 years, which is good. But I wish I would have had a better remedy back then because most sore throats are viral. That means antibiotics don't work. So here you are, you take the medication, it doesn't work, and you got to suffer uh, for a week to two weeks. Now, sometimes it does come from a bacterial infection, but most of the time it's a virus. Now, how do you know if it's viral versus bacterial? If it's bacterial, you may have more uh, nausea, you might have more digestive issues, like a stomach ache, uh, but you're not usually gonna have a cough. Versus a viral, you're gonna have a cough, a runny nose, and you're gonna have a lot of swelling back in your throat. Now, the cool thing about this natural remedy it addresses both areas. And the remedy is bay leaves, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to take it, but bay leaves have both antiviral properties as well as antibacterial properties, specifically for strep infections. So there's some really great uh, research on that, which I'll put a link down below. Now, bay leaves, those little leaves that you see in your stews or your soups have some amazing properties that I wanna go through. And one of the properties that will help you with the sore throat is that they are analgesic. They help you reduce pain, swelling, and inflammation. Bay leaves are a great remedy for a cough, especially a chronic cough at night. So if your kids are starting to cough, you can give this remedy to them as well. Bay leaves have certain compounds that help stimulate the immune system, that help reduce mucus, that help reduce headaches, especially sinus headaches. And you can use it as an insect repellent as you're trying to fix your sore throat, if there's insects around. Bay leaves are good for wound healing. They have anti-cancer effects. They're good for all sorts of digestive issues, whether it's bloating or indigestion or even gas. And bay leaves have this unique um, anticholinergic effect. Now, what does that mean? That means they inhibit a certain neurotransmitter, uh, which I'm not gonna get into. But this property helps reduce an overactive bladder it helps people that can't sweat, that have vertigo, that have dry mouth, that are constipated, and if they're nauseated. So as you can see, bay leaves have many different properties uh, backed up by some pretty cool research, which I'm going to include in the description. Now, this is how simple it is. It's going to be a tea, okay? You take two large bay leaves, okay? They can be fresh or they can be dried out and you boil some water, like two cups, and make sure when you boil it, uh, maintain that boil for about three minutes, okay? So it's nice and hot. Then put the bay leaves in this hot water and let it steep for about four minutes, okay? You wanna make sure that the essential oils and the other properties definitely get out into the water and it's not too hot to drink. Now, I would also recommend cinnamon, like a little stick if you have it, because bay leaves are a bit uh, bitter, but the cinnamon will add a nice flavor. And if you want to add a couple drops of stevia, it will make a nice drink. If you don't know about stevia, they have a liquid version of stevia that's a sweetener and it's from an herb. So you simply want to sip this tea through the day and you can drink as many as you want. There's no caffeine and it will soothe the back of the throat. It will get rid of pain. It will reduce the inflammation. It will help fight the pathogens and help speed up the recovery. Now, this is very, very important. There's another technique. It's a manual therapy technique that I created a video on that can also help you reduce a sore throat within about two minutes. If you have not seen this video, I highly suggest that you watch it right now. It's right here.